So, I'm here with my good friend Eleanor, and she's got some questions about, I guess, training my clients. Hey, Ramona. I know you've got a lot of celebrity mums um, as clients. Mm -hmm. How do you get them motivated to drop the weight after they've had the baby? Yeah, that's a big question because uh, on the most part, I think many of the moms out there watching uh, are wondering, you know, what took, what happened with Jessica and what happened with Hallie and how did they drop the weight? So. I ended up having them set some goals and uh, a lot of times celebrities have a lot of pressure anyway and whether they um, drop the weight in the public eye or whether they are doing it for themselves, it's uh, really important to set goals. So with Jessica, she actually had a goals, goal of uh, shooting a Campari ad within three months and Hallie had a golf tournament she was trying to get ready for, one that she sponsors for her charity. So we had two very significant goals. And uh, yeah, it took a lot of time um, and dedication, but I think that's one of the main things you want to do is set a goal. Even if you aren't postpartum uh, mom and want to get your body back, whatever you're doing in your life, set a goal. Okay. With Jessica and Hallie, there's a little bit of an age difference there. Mm -hmm. Is it true that your metabolism slows down as you age? And if so, what do you what do? do? You do? Yeah, well, there's definitely a challenge in that, and uh, I saw the differences probably in the way the weight dropped off. Um, but it can happen, and it did happen. If you look at Hallie now, she's back to how she was before, if not better. Um, it took a little longer. I feel Jessica lost her 20, 25 pounds within two and a half to three months, and Hallie took a closer to four months, and then her, you know, her body fat percentage was still a little higher, but over time it all goes back. And she's in her 40s, so that's hope for a lot of women that have late pregnancies. Jess is in her 20s, and uh, it's different with everyone, but you really shouldn't compare. Just try to do your own program as good as you can do. How important was the diet part? Diet's very important. Um, actually, what we had us do was calculate how many calories we intook and how many calories we burned. And that was really the, the deciding factor whether we were on our plan or not. So. You don't want to be counting calories all day, but have a rough idea of the amount of calories you're taking in. I technically wouldn't say eat for two, because the idea is that you actually in a, are in a bit of a negative, so you've got to take into account all the breastfeeding and your activity level, and then eat to sustain that, but, but that's about it, so don't overeat. Um, it was calculated by using, um, we, had a, we had a food delivery service. So that's one way, but you can get online and find a lot of information about that. And with the exercise, we had a heart rate monitor that actually counted the calories. So we were able to do at least a pound or two a week. It was great. You also worked with Ashley Simpson. Yes. What was that like? That was interesting, mostly because she had never worked out ever in her life, other than the dancing she does in her career. Um, and so getting started post-baby when I met her, was um, a bit of a challenge because you're trying to tell people the intensity level and you're also trying to, you know, cheer them on and, and then when it's really hard for them, you have to get them to come back and do it again. So if you have an exercise program in place before you have your baby, that's the best way. And then train during your baby, just very lightly, even if you're just going for walks. Just keep exercise in your life um, and then you'll see results. So there's hope for people like me who <laughs> don't really enjoy exercise and, and have an exercise for a long time then. Right, right. You know, start, start preparing. I think of my 3-2-1 as a pre-preparation, preparation, and then go. Kind of like get ready, get set, go idea. 3-2-1, go. So the idea is to pre-prepare for your postpartum workout while you're pregnant. You know, you have some time, who and what, how are you going to implement your plan once you've had your baby? Then what happens is when you come to that stage, which is the get set part, you start the program and then you're going to reach your goal. Um, as soon as you have a, an idea in three months, you know, leave yourself enough time to achieve your goal. Do you have any other tricks you use to help them lose weight? No, I think, you know, I've got my DVD series, which can help you on your program. It's the 12-week uh, Baby Bulge Be Gone program, and that's um, a great way to get started. Uh, have, like I said, a system in place. 
And um, yeah, every now and then go to a class, go to a mommy and me class, make it fun for yourself, have your baby come with you, take your baby on walks. Uh, a lot of times Jess is just naturally active in her life. She'll go on long walks and bond with Honor and now her new baby coming on the way. So yeah, I think it's a really lovely time. So. Wow, those are some great ideas. Thanks so much. Thanks, Eleanor.